Hello, it's my beautiful wife Michelle in the back. It is Foundation Friday, June 29th, 2018. Steve Cypress here. We're about to take a dip in the pool. As it is once again, it's got to be 100 and something, 105, 110, whatever. It's all good. It's the summer here in sunny Arizona. But I got to tell you a little story here for Foundation Friday. And uh, it's based on the concept, I hear this a lot, a lot of business owners that uh, the translation is, I am clueless about advertising and marketing, but they don't say that. They just say, we get all our business from referral, uh, which means the same thing, by the way. It also, another translation could be, we like leaving tons of money on the table. That's another translation of the, we get all our business from referral, because when you put mark, <laughs> give you a little hint. I mean, do the math. Take out a calculator if you need to, but... Uh, count up the number of customers or clients or patients or members that this person says that uh, gets in a year or a month or a week or whatever that says I get all of my business from referral count up the number of new clients customers patients members they get and then add to it that's the number they get from referral great add to it all the extra ones they get from doing some marketing and advertising effectively uh, and in that person's case, the answer is zero. So they're getting all their customers by referral, which means they're getting zero extra ones coming in through doing effective marketing and or advertising, which means they are leaving tons of money on the table because even a crappy, well, maybe not a crappy, but even a decent marketing and or advertising campaign will bring in customers of some kind, clients, patients, members, there's some money there. And when you do it right, you always bring in more money than you spend. So just hopefully you're not one of those that makes that idiotic statement, I get all my business from referral, because then you're saying, A, I don't like making lots of money, and B, or lots of extra money, more than I'm making, and B, I'm really bad at marketing and advertising. So, but here's the deal. And uh, excuse my hand, but I am, as I've done for the past few days here, holding an ice pack up in my hand behind the camera, behind my phone. So hopefully it doesn't overheat. And so, um, yeah, so here's the deal. Here's the thing though. When people come by referral to your business, almost none of the time are they actually just taking the referral at their word, the referring person, and 100% of those people are instantly sold on becoming your client or patient, member, customer, whatever it is. It just doesn't happen that way. Uh, especially nowadays, thanks to technology. So all the time people tell me, uh, yeah, you know, everyone said I should work with you. And then I checked you out and I went online and I saw all these testimonials of people raving about all the help you gave and all the money they made. And I checked out your, I listened to some episodes of your podcast, and I read some of your articles, and I saw you've been publishing a magazine for six years, and saw all this good stuff about you, and you've spoken all over, and, and you know everybody, and you're so highly thought of in the field, and I couldn't find anything bad about it. you. Know, in other words, what happened? They checked out some stuff. They did not just call me. Someone said, oh, you should work with Steve. The next thing was, oh, what's his phone number? Let me just call him up and give him my credit card. Doesn't work that way. And it's likely that it doesn't work that way in your business either or when you're on the other side of the cash register and you're a customer yourself or a client or a patient or member. You're buying something. So when you're buying, think about it. Do you just take the referral at its word? Someone says, hey, I heard a great restaurant. Uh, check it out and you just say what's the directions let me just drive right on over there uh, it's likely nowadays you at least look it up to see where it is and while you're doing that you click and you say let me see the menu or let me see the website or oh I see the Yelp reviews or the restaurant.com reviews or whatever there is and you see the reviews and maybe you start reading them so I'll give you an example why this came to mind today is uh, someone told me oh this is a great new product you ought to get this thing and I said, really? Okay. So uh, I, I clicked on it. I went to the website and I saw their video and I said, yeah, that looks great. Now, hang on. Let me check it out. And I went over to Amazon.com because I figured they have pretty much everything, even though this was supposedly in the video said this miraculous new product that's brand new and whatever. And stupid me, I'm thinking like, gee, maybe Amazon doesn't have it because this is some new revolutionary product. But of course, there were like eight different versions on Amazon with plenty of sales. So, you know, of all the people of marketing export, I don't know, marketing when he sees it, but I'm a buyer like anybody else. And 
you know, when I'm in buying mode, I, I don't have my marketing hat on a lot of the time, and I was caught up in the marketing. Oh, I'm, I'm going to buy this thing. But before I did, went to Amazon, and I, I said, let me, I, and I wasn't even smart enough to say, let me look at the reviews. I really went to Amazon to say, just say, let's see if they have it at a better price, because I get that free delivery with Amazon, and maybe they even have a better model or a different version. Uh, but I couldn't help but see that it said right there, customer reviews, 31 customer reviews, one star rating out of five. So now I clicked on it to see this got to be a mistake. You can't have just a one out of five. I mean, you got to be phenomenally bad because there is no zero. And sure enough, the first customer review said that. It said, hey, if I could, I would give it a zero. And the next one, pile of junk. Don't buy it. Next one, send it back. I mean, they weren't even taking the time to write a review. It was so bad. And then somebody came on and said, well, stupid me. I should have read the reviews first. This thing sucks, blah, 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 blah. It doesn't work. Send it back. And I was like, all right, it can't be all of them. So now I'm clicking around to a different company and their version and this one and that. But all the reviews are pretty much saying the same thing. Until I found one that said two-star review because it said it doesn't do what it says. It doesn't create what it creates. But at least it can hold it, can function as a holder. If you create it somewhere else, and I'm like, so does a bowl, so does an asteroid, so does a table. I mean, I can't believe you gave a two-star review and upped their average because it can hold something, even though it doesn't do what it's supposed to do, which is create it. So that was hilarious. But anyway, that's my point. I was like, right there, there it is. See, someone gives a, 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 a referral, doesn't mean the sale is done. So these people that say, I get all my business from referral, it's amazing how much money they're missing, but they will never know. Some, it's very rare, if ever, that someone would let them know, send them an email, or maybe they bump into them somewhere. And, but I still don't think they would say, oh yeah, you know, I was referred to you, but then I went over to your website or I checked out your videos. I saw you got nothing on social media, nothing on YouTube, and you didn't have any reviews, and your website was a piece of crap. And uh, they're not gonna tell you that. They're just not gonna do business with you. So if you do all your business by referral, first of all, you're probably missing half the referrals you should get. Because people are referring you. But if you don't back that up with a referral system, you don't put lots of things in place. Second of all, sometimes you get a referral and they're not exactly ready yet. They're not at the end of the buying cycle. They're not ready to buy. So if you don't put them into some kind of educational system to send them your newsletter and educate them on the buying process and why they should pick you instead of somebody else so that when they're ready to buy, they would select you. If you don't do any of that, they get a referral, they're not ready to buy yet. A week later, a month later, a year later, a day later, whenever they are ready to buy, they don't already don't remember you. And they're like, what was that referral? Who, whatever. Oh, maybe I'll try and find it if I go on to google.com and now you lose because now they're going to find all your competitors. And if anyone are following my videos or even better becoming a client of mine, then they have amazing systems in place and you will lose. So a lot of times you even lose referrals if you have a competitor who is smart about marketing, advertising and has systems in place. Then you go to, you know, you're, uh, someone gets referred to you, they go to look you up. They see whatever they see. They say, you know, before I make the call, if they're not totally convinced, because you don't have excellent systems up there, they will look around. And if they look around and one of the competitors is someone who follows my advice, you're going to lose even though you got a referral. So long story short, you got to have systems in place to back up everything you're doing. Don't just think, gee, I get referrals and magically they all run over credit card in hand, no questions asked to do business with you just doesn't work that way, especially nowadays where everyone is more skeptical than ever. Second of all, there's more technology in the palm of everyone's hands 24 hours a day than ever. It's too easy to click and look for certain things and check you out all over the place and check your competition before they make a buying decision. So referrals are weaker than ever and systems are more important than ever. So whether it's me or somebody else, follow someone's advice, follow someone's model, someone and get some selling systems in place to back up everything you're doing, including referrals. And that's the foundational Friday tip for today. Oh, look at that. Tim Johnson is here and says, love it. Tim Johnson, speaking of somebody who knows marketing, is an expert in helping scale businesses to untold heights. I mean, talk about success stories. Tim has tons of them. So if you want to scale your business to untold heights, you want to connect with Tim Johnson. Tell him I said hello, or don't. 
Uh, but uh, love you, Tim. Thanks for being here. And anybody else that's live, if I scroll up, okay, I see a bunch of names. I got the sun hitting on me and I'm heading into the pool. So I'll just say hello to everyone here live, watching on the replay. Thanks for watching today. And I'll be back tomorrow on Success Story Saturday. Well, I will, as always, be telling a story about a successful entrepreneur meant to help you stay and get in the right mindset and understand that no matter what you're going through, there is a success story inside of you. And so it's motivating for me to read and hear about and watch videos about other successful entrepreneurs. I'll be doing that for you tomorrow and every Saturday on Success Story Saturday. I hope you'll join me then. I'm about to take a dip in the pool. So I'm going to say over and out for today and I'll catch you tomorrow. Bye-bye.